Okay. So. Okay, there it goes. Oh god, hold on. I need it. I need a longer cord for my microphone. It was halfway out. I just realized. I was like, why can't anyone hear me? Uh, gee, I have no idea what that says in Cyrillic. I'm just assuming it also says paradigm. But I don't know for certain. But uh, yeah, as I was mentioning, uh, I'm going to assume that says yes. <laughs> it's just because it has an A at the end and it's only two letters. <laughs> um, but yes, as I was saying to where no one could hear me, uh, if you're on Jolly Server, I said I was going to play Disco Elysium, but I lied. Because I saw this sitting in my library and I went, you know what, I want something... I want something more silly and point and clicky. I like point and clicky adventure games. They're fun, especially when done well. How did this open? I just wanted to play solitaire. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, I'd say I'm experienced. Moves hotspot toggle system and the hint system. You've played a few point-and-click adventure games in your time. Three-headed monkeys and puny punny deaths are something you hold dear. Besides, who needs stupid words helping you do stuff? Hint systems are for plebs. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Let me stumble through my own stupidity. Um, let me make my mic louder then. Uh, give me a second to do that. I can do that. All right, is that like way better or way too loud? Chi, stop using your strange borscht language at me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, okay. So not too loud, but not too quiet. I'll take it. Why is it? Why make it look like that then? I don't like that. They're gonna have all these other letters that are unique. They use other ones. All right, let's see here. It does not include tumor sense, tumor cutie chats, a sense of accomplishment. There's only pain and suffering. Fun. Well, not really. The game is the same except those first two features. 
You can activate either of them in options anytime. Okay, yeah, that's fine then. All right, let's go. Archived infomercial and is not to be used. Oh. That is some good sound design. Is your child a failure? Have they oh, no. wasted years of their life acquiring an art degree? Oh, Do no. you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in bullshit coffee? Is your <laughs> child just an asshole? These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child. Oh, you're the right. Fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams. We combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology. And finally, our secret sauce. And then Bro, I need your this. Prodigy Child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, Whoa. wizard, and cat. You know Amazing. what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Time to put on some beatsies. What a face. Ugh, I am so bored. I should probably make progress in my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and Weeping silently. <gasps> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'll figure it out myself. Thanks, so. though. I appreciate you. Uh, don't worry, bud. Good luck. If you need, you can always check the menu again. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny packs. Unless you're a faulty old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. John? Doesn't look like he's turned on right now. Oh. I need to turn him on somehow. He's dead. Oh, here we go. I need some sort of a oh, first. Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn it. That is a plug from the now disbanded Republic of Pushinska. I'll need some sort of adapter. What the fuck? That's too many prongs. Oh, here we go. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. If only people could adapt like this adapter, robot human marriage wouldn't be such a big issue. Oh jeez, I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. Okay. <laughs> I love this tumor's voice. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Oh, Mike, what do you unplug me for? You know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? Let's, John, 
He's an artificial intelligence unit. He used to be one of those matchmaking robots, but he kept flirting with the contestants. TV was just not ready for robot-human relations at the time. Hmm. That does sound distressing. <laughs> his face. Uh, his fucking face. All right. Do you ever miss the days when you were just a matchmaking robot? Oh, a little mate. Although the show was pretty terrible, post-apocalyptic Australia wasn't very pretty. I really like what you did to your face. What's different? Well, originally, it was a picture of a big phallic object with a smiley face on it. I'll have you to thank for that. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. Hey, dude. Do your How 9000 impression. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Dave, you're a drongo. You know I can't let you do that. That's just stupid. <laughs> mm, yes, Australian Hal. That's what the movie needed. Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some badass beaties. Mate, with some of the filth I've seen in your internet history, I'm not surprised. Makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll Jesus. think about all the shooters who'd be gutted. And then I... Change my mind. <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> Wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but uh, oh. it's perfectly normal for sick blokes such as yourself, anyway. Real talk. Why isn't it working, mate? The operating system is buggered. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need a wipe it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Can't they just turn it on and off again? When did you learn advanced IT support? I'm impressed. Top bloke. Congratulations. True blue. Amazing. Top was I, I, I think he's right, being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright. I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area. And one little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Just tell me where to get it. All right, mate. I'll tell ya. But first, I need your help. I've got at least 10 chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight. And I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look at my eyes, Jorn. We already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners. Except for sweaty salvage men. And I'll tell you what, mate. I don't want any news from sweaty salvage men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Figure something out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new EP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Records are always good. Worn part of my record collection. I bought it for 10 euros from a talking dog. I think he hustled me. Before I knew it, I was rubbing his belly and playing catch. What do we got here? If you were a square, I'd love all four sides. If only I was still a planet. Sean Sensualstein. Sensual Sensualstein? Companionship for the futuristic lover. Babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. Get rich or die of natural causes. All right. <laughs> uh. Get rich or die of natural causes. Who said all the best rappers were dead? <laughs> Babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. It's a beautiful concept album about the forbidden love between a human and a T-Rex. Sean Sensualstein. 
A guide oh, there it is. for the futuristic lover. This one got me my first online girlfriend, who turned out to be a 60-year-old man. But that's beside the point. <laughs> Pluto, if only I was still a planet. Just thinking about this still makes me cry. If you were a square, I would love all four sides of you. So true. So true. <laughs> uh, sure. This could get John in the mood. Do that. Uh? My, you know you changed paradigm. Gonna slice so many circuits tonight. Anyway. You can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory duties if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, we have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. What are these lyrics? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea, dude. Yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this pipe and mash earth for your benefit earlier. Wow, you really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, you see, Cobza, all the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, crush is world number one in the Brabant economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Hmm. <laughs> Placeholder. <laughs> sure. That was Redikovsky. That's the basic gist of the CISO if you don't get that floppy. Except for more nuclear fallout, mutations, people died in agony, pine, suffering, and lots of prolonged screaming. I saw my humans have like uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Piper Mache seems to always reject you, Paradorm. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. One day. But yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna see Doug outside with some directory dudes to Space Cadet's place. That's where I make my sweet ass discotheca bits. I also use it to look at cats on the internet. And slowly waste away my life. Don't we all? I probably should wash that, but I just don't have the heart to kill the little civilization of bacteria. They're so cute. I think they just hit the Bronze Age. Amazing. I managed to salvage these of the King of Moskvich. It has a memory of six kilobytes weighs two tons and its only purpose is to play solitaire a good deal oh let's see what else can I bearded beats one of my favorite beard oriented bands although not as good as bearded beauties. It's a really good game. Oh no! <laughs> history to make players violently ill from an overdose of puns. Progressive. Amazing. I see you're ready to check a honey golden idol. Yup. 
that is where I bring all the girls. No. No, I don't. <laughs> At least he's Thank honest. Thank you for dying for our musical scenes, DJ Jesus. Alright. I used to let the hobo crash in then. I didn't check on him for a while. I soon found out he likes smearing things on walls. I don't go in there anymore. Oh no. Warning. Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Yes, I want, I want you to bring me Paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need, we need... <coughs> Are you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to... Um... <coughs> I'm just going to let my face out. That was a candy bar. Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. Disgusting. Oh, it's Doug. These are clearly just toy dials stuck on with blue tick. Hmm. He thinks that that person is uh, not a person. The hobo from the red room also liked to smear things outside. You'd think it would help here, but this spot has never been the same. God damn it, Lucas. Stop spraying your intellectual property on my property. Radioactive sludge, the gift that keeps on giving terrible lifelong illnesses. That's my mailbox, almost always filled with online shopping regret. John used to be active out here, but uh, I disabled the module because he kept telling passers by to graffiti the phrase, Paradigm sucks balls. Mm. Something many people don't know about the Messiah. He has some sick hand styles. <laughs> there used to be a call to get inside somewhere around here. Then the game designer realized it was a terrible puzzle. He had better things to redesign, like book jokes. Miniature unicorns fighting flying pugs power station. Naming by public vault is uh, never a good idea. Or is it the best idea? I'm not sure. Alright. Five bucks for Beatsies. That's Doug. He is a beatboxing eggplant. He likes to think he is from the vegetable patch of Biggie Smalls. I just think he is an asshole. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, bro, Licious? How do you stay alive? How do you stay alive? Photosynthesis, bro. How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. But if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. How's the hustle going? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man. Give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. Alright, alright. Fat beatsies. Dropping some fat beatsies? Okay. Oh, 
Nice. Do you know much about the Space Cadet? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Rodolfo Ekni, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. Ah, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. <laughs> Did you consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a droganess, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. Uh, what kind of drug edit? Uh, I think his drug of choice is space dust, I think. What the hell is that? Some say it's mine from the moon, but really it's just remarketed crack. Amazing. I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the dits. I need Later. a map. Peace, bro. Where am I gonna find a map? Hey, look! I have new mail. I, uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. What? Hey, there's something else in the second mailbox. Oh, a third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. <laughs> no. If there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, oh, no. the postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Weird. Neat. I don't think it would appreciate the sentimental value of a handwritten postcard from me. Especially an inanimate object. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Uh-oh. Whoa, all right. <laughs> Something went weird. Oh no, my audio cut out. Hold on. Hold on. There it goes. Okay, we're back. I did break it. All right, let's go to Space Cadet's home. Oh my god. The sign says, please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Amazing. Ah, the old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, Nicky Neck's replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend <laughs> it. <laughs> That's fair enough. Uh, can, I, can I look at the button? Press for Super Spooky Crash Plane Edition. Sure. Jelly. Yes. Very spooky. Amazing. What are these? Those are metal mushies. Unlike their hallucinogenic brethren, they simply make you headbang and mush for days without getting fatigued. Oh, Even man. The side effect is really swallow traps. Swallow. 
Gee, you needed those when you went to the concert. Oh my, it's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. Always fun. Some strange stuff happens out here, man. Like the conversion of sunlight to create energy. Photosynthesis is some crazy messed up stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rare arcade game which explains the intricacies of interplanetary love with lasers. Mm. Lasers are fun. Some people like lasers. It's a toy rock which has three settings. Atmosphere, space, and... Pleasure? <laughs> it seems to be some sort of a uh, rare artifact. Possibly from the copyrightous infringements era. Legends say that the archaeologists who found the artifacts received the curse of cease and desist. That's <laughs> <laughs> the symbol. Uh. It's a toboganizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. Oh. Oh, hey, it's a Cyrillic keyboard. Cornelius F., local drug addict. You know, just because I'm the local drug addict, people think that I'm crazy. They walk past and just consider me trash. They don't wait and consider that I'm a human being. Just because occasionally I'm naked, lathered in honey, shouting my favorite 80s pop lyrics. Anyway, so far, Vagrant art performance is going well. You can never go too far with art, including taking hardcore drugs. And they said my art degree was useless. I'm going to be a social justice messiah after this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's not even plugged in. And wow, there's at least four rats living inside. With what seems to be a little couch and studio lighting? Also a laugh track? Fancy. Space Cadet also seems to be transfixed by it. Left one... Oh, th oh the two buttons. Left one says any key, the right one is useless key. <laughs> That's fair. I need to look at all of the things. Space dust, please. I'm actually impressed someone so wired can even write that. It looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Sorry. <laughs> uh oh, bank notice. I'm not sure that's how advertising works. Hello, Cornelius. We are sorry to inform you that Dupa Genetics has continued to cease paying for your mortgage. We would also like to emphasize that sending us your body hair in Ziploc bags does not count as payment. It is not black gold as you refer to it as. You have 30 days to leave the premises. Again, please, oh God, please, no more bags. Yours sincerely, Arthur Borvakow, CEO. Please don't let our baby body and face appearance fool you. We have years of experience. <laughs> Toddler baby men banking. Amazing. Looks like some sort of a space observatory. However, on closer inspection... It's just a washing machine bowl attached to some large PVC piping. Normally this outfit combination would be atrocious, but the moon shoes really bring it together. Hello? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful comatose man. 
I need to divert his attention somehow. It's literally just a piece of paper and a keypad drawn on with crayon. I can't just pour liquor out for my dead homies. Wasting vodka and crush is punishable by death. Oh no. You would be the worst guy at AA meetings. Let's help out the drug addict with more drugs. <laughs> I mean, if it works. Oh, what's this cable? By now, I should have cut Space Cadet's power. But that would mean I would lose my high score on Planet Love. I can't ever let P24 beat me again. Hey, I used to own this. I actually had the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and a broke electronic musician. Truly an interior designer genius. He uses cardboard boxes for storage and furniture. Groundbreaking. Hello, cute rats, which appear to be in some sort of rodent sitcom. Sorry, Rat family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. What kind of facial product are you using? God, I don't want to see the close-up. Uh. It's facial wipes. Thanks for asking. Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as AC. What does the AC stand for? Addict Chic. The real innovators of fashion. Yep, they made poor hygiene sexy again. Was it ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. What's the hottest conspiracies this week, Space Cadet? Planet Earth's president apparently wanted to grow up to be a talking car. Slow week, huh? Not at all. He just got surgery to replace his arms with wheels. He died. Oh. <laughs> right. Apparently, they are now recycling his body into real car tires. It's almost poetic. Amazing. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disc will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes. Give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. Uh, where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though. For reasons I don't want to get into right now. And then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. If it's uh, that simple, why don't you go yourself? Let's just say I had too much space dust. And let's just say I thought I was a rocket ship. 
and I tried to launch myself off the top of his mansion. And of course, rockets don't need claws. Anyway, now I'm not allowed to go there anymore. Is there a specific amount you need? Infinite, please. I don't think that's possible. If you look into your heart, Paradigm, you can do anything. Except maybe win a wire loop skill tester. And find happiness in life. Inevitably regretting your decisions upon your deathbed. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here. The little house on the mountain in the middle. Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh... uh... Then you can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of Cruz. New original conspiracies? Yeah, want to hear about it? <laughs> no, please no. Oh, geez. Long live the lizard people. Oh, geez. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. <laughs> Diggum. Dimey guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars. Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of. Obvious listening devices. Now, I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty sure that... <laughs> All of these are pretty good. I'll do the middle one all part of a reality TV show called Paradigm's Life is Nothing But Misery and Regret. Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys who accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia and trendy period relevant catchphrases. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Yours works too. Let's, uh, change the subject. Kawabungu! What is, uh, space dust? It's, uh, space exploration in, uh, powder form. Do you ever get to see any aliens? Yeah, but they are total dicks that don't pay taxes. Except for Florgan. He's alright. Why do you take space dust? To escape the monotonous routine of everyday life. The pain I feel from past unrequited love. The harsh reality of human emotion and life. Wow, that's quite profound. Maybe I've misjudged you. Thank you, Talking Peach. You're not so bad either. For a delicious fruit, make sure to tell Banana he still owes me 20 bucks. Are there any side effects? Uh, blurred vision, you also turn into a metaphorical elephant, and sudden combustion. That's a pretty big one. Hasn't happened so far, obviously. Frankly, I'm not sure how I'm alive most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate his honesty in this. I might need to leave now. This stench is too great. See you later. <coughs> All right. Let's go to not a drug dealer's house. Dude, what a tune. That is a weird looking bird up there. Uh, 
Have some background music. Great. A windy road for artistic effect. No consideration for my fitness at all. I wish my diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal. This is a very why, gassy bird. Why isn't fast travel implemented here? <laughs> hmm. Fast travel? Or shall we make him walk? Let's make oh him walk. God. I feel like I'm in an old adventure game. This is the worst. I'm cruel. I am the cruelest. Oh, come on, stairs? No escalator? This isn't Rocky. I do not have the calves for this. Too bad. Well, apparently those things can't fly. Baller. I hate stairs. <laughs> There's nothing to click on. It's a rare CCTV bush. It receives nutrients from invasions of privacy. Ah, yes, the future bodyguards, cheap recyclable and after you are finished you can make some sweet blanket forts with it no girls allowed amazing there's a dog in there watching youtube i'm not sure what's going on but i know it's cute as hell Ooh, it's a the organizer sort of like a personal digital diary compulsory to all citizens of crush Noscom K, real ghost. Hey, you there. Yes, you. This is for you, my dear friend. Paragit BR. I'm stuck inside this deporganizer. Please help me get my soul out of here. Otherwise, I'll be stuck in here for all eternity. Just follow this link, <laughs> low.go slash slash dot com, and put in your credit card details, and I'll be free. <laughs> Please, friend, you're my only hope. After, I'll give you my inheritance valued at a bunch of money straight into your check account. Amazing. No scam. Oh, I see. No scam. Yes. I won't fall for that. Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. <laughs> I would like to purchase some space dust. Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean, get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. Bollocks! 
You won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Oh, no. <laughs> super annoying. I am not a cop. I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossevia. Isn't this fun? Look at me. Do you think I could even run after a criminal? Fat policemen normally do the paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. Wait, do you think I'm fit? I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm, maybe you are right. If I were a policeman, could I do this? Sorry, I was supposed to do something that proved I was not a policeman. <laughs> well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did it. Aced it even. Amazing. I'm a part of a fat gangster hip hop group. Prove it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm a rap guy and I rap and I rap rap and rap rapping guy and and I uh, uh, <laughs> uh. That was terrible. I don't believe it. <laughs> all right already. Jesus. This is going nowhere. I tell you what. I'm a fan of those sick beatsies, Chi. I'll let you buy from me. Whoa, isn't that pretty brutal? <laughs> Not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell out of here. Oh no. Jesus Christ, I can't murder anyone. Oh, Who I does see. he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ugh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard, and or butt observatory. <laughs> Fingers crossed there was some local decapitations today. Ooh, a pocket knife. This is a limited edition Pushinska army knife. It's the only standard issue army knife to replace the knife part with a serrated spoon. Nothing like it will strike fear into the heart of your enemy whenever they hear stories of death by serrated spoon. I've always wanted a Kush army serrated spoon. <laughs> I totally forgot these have a press to talk button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I like that. Hello, extremely dangerous serrated army spoon. <laughs> it said I'm a sharp knife. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. I still get that happens to be bowler, apparently. <sighs> yes, yes. I too love butts. It appears that he is on a similar level of hideousness to me, assuming that's him. Although I have the titan figure, squats really do work wonders. It's true, yeah. I don't actually know if any of these, uh, if any of the developers of this or the writers are actually Russian greatly. at all. Nothing like two big grassy balls. All right. Oh my God, he said it in Polish. Oh my God. Let's go to the junkyard. Ow. Oh wow, it's an incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for me. 
sorry, Pepe Airplane Bird. I have to open you up. Two Paradigm. Your life is in immediate danger. Or, sorry. Your life is in medium rare danger. Someone is after you. We are organizing your rescue. Hold tight. Pagst Rebels. P.S. Can you give me some critiques on my vague warning message skills at Fight Club Best Movie at AOL.com? I'm an unpaid intern at the Pagst Rebels trying to go full time rebel. Much appreciated. It's one of those terrible plastic policeman dress up helmets. The great thing with these, all you need to do is wear nothing but the helmet, and you've got yourself a sexy police costume. Be wary of real policemen if you decide to go this route. <laughs> That's fair. Well, that makes... Uh, I, I appreciate that the dev is Polish and lives in Australia, because that at least makes sense for uh, John and why he's got an Australian accent. Oh, no. They use needle. Neat. They are like the lucky dip for diseases. Hey. That's my washing machine. Rest in peace, little guy. You slay the many a coffee stain. Shh, 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 shh. You're in a better place now. I don't know if it is. Hey, this is actually my trash bag. It's 80% full of cereal boxes, 20% of self-loathing. It is a crane which is hanging conveniently over the cone trademark. Cutting edge special effects. Impressive. <laughs> that sign creeps me the hell out. Somehow, I know it's got to do with my past, but I blocked it out mostly with fat beasties and vodka. I find a lot of computer parts for my shop here, but mostly I find self loathing. That's the only Carlet and Krush. There used to be more. Then people got hoverboards. Then people got the radiation sickness. People don't ride hoverboards anymore. He's so sad. Looks like he worships them or something. Darling, don't talk to strangers. He looks like a thug. Hey. I wish my arm fell off. I would totally replace it with a cyborg arm. Yeah. One cone to caution them all. This appears to be the cone's abode. He's dirty. Dirty abode. It appears to be a mannequin with a wig on. Get away from me, you mutant freak. Step away from my wife. Ah, yes. Oh, no. And I thought they couldn't get any weirder. There we are. Hello, you creepy mannequin. Hello, Cone. You are looking awfully cautious today. All right. Let's talk to this man. That is the con. He thinks he's the protector of cones, but uh, he's just batshit crazy. Welcome, non-cone-based humanoid, to my cone domain. <laughs> what a delivery. Hello, strange cone guy who I have so far successfully avoided talking to. Hello, non-cone-based humanoid. Isn't that cone crushing your face? The cone and I live as a symbiotic being, the sum of our parts stronger than any individual. Just like two cop partners starring in an 80s action slash comedy slash drama slash epic TV show. Also, yes, it is horribly painful. What's your origin story? My mother was a cone. I don't think that's physically possible, but uh, go on. It was a forbidden relationship. Needless to say, she was a terrible mother because of her lack of limbs. But I love her all the same. I also have a crippling, crippling fear of letter drivers. Eh, uh, makes sense. Thanks. Uh, who are you again? I am the code. Trademarked. Did you really trademark it? 
Yes, originally I was Cone underscore sexy underscore babe 69. But the original died <laughs> ironically in a traffic accident. God bless his console. What's in the bum bag? Justice. Seriously though, it's just a fashion accessory. These aren't even real zips. What is your weakness? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go around telling people my weaknesses all the time. I'll tell you my weakness when cones fly. <laughs> He's a funny guy, isn't he, Roller Manisha? Not as funny or handsome as you, though, the current trademark. I love you, darling. Me too, hee hee hee. So, <laughs> you're saying, if I want to take your mannequin, um, wife's head, I would have to take advantage of your only weakness, flying cones. <laughs> have you considered <laughs> having some other weakness? Maybe checkers. I'm pretty good at checkers, and it could be a very exciting minigame. What? Never mind. I really need your mannequin. Can I please have it? What mannequin? That one over there. All I see is my wife. You're so handsome, the con trademark. Damn it. This is going to be harder than I expected. Laters. Goodbye, my non cone friend. You would think this would be the solution to get rid of the cone, especially with the crane hanging conveniently over him, but it is most definitely not. I can't just pour liquor out for my dead homies. Wasting they did trick me. Crushes punishable by death. I can't just wasting. Okay. What if I? Knife spoon is destined for greater things. use this for the police head. However, I don't want to find out what the cone has in his bum bag if I try anything. Hands off me, you terrible, terrible man. Step away from my wife. When I thought he couldn't get any weather, there we are. All right. Um. Oh, yes. I'm going to have the sexiest police costume. As much as I would like to use it to dress up as a sexy policeman, I should combine it with something else. That would be a waste of a sexy police costume. Hmm, fair. Uh. If I hold it too long, its mother won't take it back into the nest. I better not. <laughs> Do not touch my sacred followers. I will bring swift vigilante justice upon you in the form of a rusty shiv that will give you tetanus. A con would be useful, but I have to get one somewhere else. I could probably lure him away with one. I'm sure it might be handy to contract a life threatening disease, but to be honest, I think it would just weigh me down. <laughs> if it was a cyborg arm, yes, I would pick it up. <laughs> hmm, I could use this for the police. However, I can't stop away from when I. Alright, let's go to the Bud Observatory. Oh no. Hey mate, it's me John 3000. I managed to form the connect to your headset again. So I and block me out last time. Weird. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Weird. Anyway, been tuning this new bird. She wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound boy she sent me. Super bonds are hot. Uh, 
ears. My ears. Oh, that's better. Makes me sweaty just listening to it. Can can you please leave me alone? Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Oh, that's not good. What? It actually might be too late. I had so many biddies to cyber with. I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. This isn't so bad. Oh. Oh God, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hyper visual simulation. I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing. Desire would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, boy. <laughs> Amazing. It is a little model launch pad of the bloody Krushkinov launch tragedy. Neat. Oh. Welcome to Krush Bat Observatory. It was commissioned during the Neo Lukewarm War as a representation of Neo Soviet Union's threat. However, in secret, it was used as a cover for a missile silo, primarily to thwart any spy's credibility. Upon telling their governments that the large genital sculptures were nuclear weapon facilities, they were left out of the service, allowing the Neo-Soviet Union to have the best missile offensive at the time. After their first fall, they decided to do some remarketing. They were on all the social media. Neo Lenin even had a Let's Play channel. Until oh they my god. Like, comment, and inform. Amazing. Turns out repairing magnification <laughs> glasses is expensive. Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's rendition. That's pretty good. Olex Castle. He locked himself in there to prove some point. When, in reality, he is just a dick and no one wants to save him. I like there was a guy out there somewhere who thought oversized band-aids was a good business plan. It is said touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hand smell weird from all the other people touching it. It's so hard hitting and truthful. It's made me rethink all my motivations. I can't wait to forget this in a few minutes. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Oh, hey. Dorotka S. Saleswoman. Sometimes I go up here just to get away from everything, you know? Up here, I can breathe. Everything makes sense. I can finally imagine myself as my true self. Dorotka the Giant, Destroyer of Worlds. You really slighted me, God, when you gave me this human body. You could have made me be a mythological demigod, but no. I'm Dor uh, Dorotka, computer saleswoman. Cheers. Amazing. Great access for the set suicidals. Set suicidals being the local base jumping group. Hmm. <laughs> I, Paradigm, will kill myself because what? I canceled my favorite TV show before its time. Is probably what would I say if I was going to do it. Amazing. Ravine of what? There Lethal are a death. Bunch of skeletons down there. Plastic ones. The real ones get taken away by wild animals, or become magical fantasy skeletons. Hmm. 
make my rocket launch. Oh, that's right. If you can't actually pick it up, you just use a pickup line. Neo communist might. And he has no puzzle solving significance. Are you into pirates? I downloaded like three seasons last night. <laughs> yeah, girl. Let's make it work in theory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I'll have a comically large boo boo in the near future. Hmm. Don't think there's anything here for me. Oh, jeez. Someone broke my door and window. Igorski, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? God damn it, you're so hideously cute. I could never stay mad at you. Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous, courteous dick. That is my dog, Gorski. He is most beautiful dog in all of Kush. Mainly because he is only dog. But he is my dog. Ruff. Hello, Gorski. God damn it. You're so cute, you little ball of flesh. I could if I wanted to lose some limbs. But I'm already severely deformed. I like to at least have full mobility. Model X3300. This was the very first computer to be able to draw 32 by 32 pixel art. And, of course, it became the first computer to draw 32 by 32 pixel nodes. As is nature. It's a controller for some console. Hopefully an expensive one. I guess it could be handy. Oh, hey, it's the EP. It was a dark time <laughs> to pay the bills. I try not to think about it. It's paint thinner mixed with pure ethanol. Great for running my backup generator. Also great if you want to go blind and vomit profusely. For that reason, I installed a child cap to ward off future vagabonds. Paint thinner mixed with ethanol, essential for your everyday needs. That's my backup generator that powers the caravan. I rigged it up so instead of noise, it makes some death metal tunes. Hey, yeah, there we go. A transcript from the advertisement radio station. I was hoping to get some dope audio samples from it, but mostly it was more procrastination. Advertisement transcript. Mega Bro Tax Evasion the Game. Grandma Insurance. John Pierce's new album. Motorplex Fighting Icons. Fantastic Fitness Weight Loss. Liliana Local Baba Yaga Witch. All right. Hello, I'm Liliana, your local Baba Yaga witch, offering my services on the weekend half price. Neighbors on your nerves? I'll curse them. Half price. Can't find a husband or wife? Buy morally questionable but romantic love potion. Half price. Hate your husband? Buy erectile dysfunction potion. Half price. Call for a price today. Do you find it close to impossible to get up to exercise? Sweat no more. Fantastic fitness will remove your whole body so you never have to worry about nutrition and weight loss ever again. Apply now for a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's the way to do it. This Sunday at the Motorplex. Fighting icons. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, sign me up. <laughs> I don't need this body. If I don't have a body, then I can eat whatever I want, right? Fighting icons. We bring back the clones of icons throughout history and answer the age-old question, who would win in a fist fight between Abraham Lincoln and Gandhi? 
Hitler and Joey the Kangaroo, Beethoven and Biggie Smalls, this Sunday, repeated multiple times. John Pierce is uh, this decade's modern musical genius, is about to drop his new, most anticipated album of 2026. Our love is drifting apart. Here's a small sample music plays. Mmm, amazing. How does one duck contain so much talent? <laughs> oh no, he's a duck. Oh no, Grandma is gone. What do we tell Billy? Don't tell Billy a thing. Grand Insurance is here to help. We'll send a clone replacement of Grandma within one business day. She'll be baking cookies straight out of the stasis box in no time. Just remember to clean the stasis liquid or uncontrollable bloodlust may occur. We'll guarantee a cookie cook a cookie cooking sweater knitting slave for years to come. Available at clonegrandma.com. Thanks, Grandma Insurance. What would we have done without you? Amazing. Hey there, Billy. Do you like video games? Yeah. Do you like gross amounts of virtual violence? Yeah, yeah. Do you like doing taxes? What? I'm 11, year old, 11 years old, mister. Well, then you'll love our new game from Megabro, the company that brought you such hits as Boosting Thugs, Zeldario Zany Man X-Zone, introducing tax evasion in the game. Play as multi-dimensional company with fun gameplay, such as threaten or bribe government officials. Choose which offshore countries to put your profits. Recruit a dream team of lawyers. Find and silence whistleblowers. Whoa, cool! Available 3-4-2025. Man, yeah, this these games in the future are going to be insane. This is great. It's a radio that they managed to get working finally. Too bad there are only like three stations. One is a regular music station. The second is just hours upon hours of some neurotic guy narrating everything around him. The third is 24-7 advertisements. Let's check out what's on the radio. Whoa, 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 welcome! This is Advertisement Radio, where we play advertisements all day, every day, from around the world. From around the world! A world where you spend every last cent of your savings, and then your wife leaves you, taking your dog, taking your favorite hat, taking your hemorrhoid donut cushion, eventually leaving you to heat up a can of beans with your butane lighter, and then you're left staring at your blank wall because your TV was taken too. Haha, <laughs> enough about me! Let's get into the Gee, what does the Cyrillic say? Hey there, Billy. Do you like video games? Yeah! Do you like gross amounts of virtual violence? Yeah! Do you like doing taxis? What? I'm 11 years old, mister. Well, then you'll love our Not game bad sound. That's a good sticker to have on a radio. Boosting thugs. Zeldario Zany Man Exo. Introducing tax evasion. The game. Play is multidimensional company. Middle slash average radio. That's fair. Government officials. Choose which offshore countries to put your profits. Recruit a dream team of lawyers. Find and silence whistleblowers. Whoa, cool. Available March 4th, 2025. Oh no, Grandma is gone. What do we tell Billy? Don't tell Billy a thing. Grand Insurance is here to help. We'll send a clone replacement to Grandma within one business day. She'll be baking cookies straight out the stasis box in no time. Just remember to clean yeah, the I think the transcript was, uh, I didn't need to read it. I appreciate all the voice acting that's in this game. This is great. Thanks, Grandma Insurance. What would we have done without you? Gene Pierce's This Decade's Modern Musical Genius is about to drop his new, most anticipated album. Our love is drifting apart. Here's a small sample. What? Uh, here's. Mmm, amazing. How does one duck contain so much talent? This Sunday at the Motorplex, fighting icon. We bring back the clones of icons throughout history and answer the age-old question. Who would win in a fistfight between Abraham Lincoln and Gandhi, Hitler and Joy the Kangaroo, 
Beethoven and Vicky Small. This Sunday, 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 Sunday. Do you <laughs> close to impossible to get Just up to off. Sweat no more. Fantastic fitness will remove your whole body so you never have to worry about nutrition and weight loss ever again. Sign me up. Apply now for a 30-day money-back guarantee. Hello, I'm Liliana, your local Baba Yaga witch, offering my services on the weekend half price. Neighbors on your nerves, help burst them. Half price. Can't find a husband or wife? Buy morally questionable but romantic love potions. Half price! Hate your husband? Buy erectile dysfunction potion. Half price! Call 058984982 for a price today. <laughs> Alright, let's listen to the weird dude. Well, actually, but then later he kept asking me to shift gears when it wasn't even necessary. Oh my god! <laughs> like, all the time. He'd grab his engine up and go, Quick, Billy, grab my shaft and throttle it back and forth. That's right, slide me in and out of gear all night. Hell this yeah. fucking pro CD. Year before I realized, to my horror, that I had basically just been giving him a ton of hand jobs. It kept getting worse. He asked me if I was into trunk stuff and pressured me into rubbing his rims sensually. One time he told me I didn't even need keys because he was already turned on. Anyways, that was Is this the about the that. president guy? A year went by before I could save up enough cash for a new car. We're on good terms now though. Sometimes I even feel bad enough for the guy that I give him a sympathy wax. Oh well. So uh I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to run out of things to say. Is this really going to be the rest of my life? Maybe I should finally start my dream of bringing scatting back into the mainstream. Be the modern day scat man. The scat is on. Fuck those Baba Yaga witches. <laughs> All right, what an uh, ending. So, this is day 412 of having my soul cursed and imbued into a radio station. Oh, jeez. Did those Baba Yaga witches really have to curse me? All I did was park my car in their designated spot. Why are there even Baba Yaga witch parking spots? Our government is so stupid. I mean, let's be realistic here. I think it's a gross misuse of public resources. We have Baba Yaga witch parking spaces, but not handicapped ones? What kind of bullshit is that? Why do they even drive? They literally can fly. They think just because they can curse people and shit, they can just do what they want? Like, here's an example. Just before I personally was cursed, they cursed and imbued my buddy's soul into my old car. Do you have any idea how weird uh, that is? I see. Is? That's where he went off. Your friend? Okay, it was pretty fun for a while, I guess. Kind of felt like I was in an 80s TV show. Chase I want to listen to tunes. On with the yeah, game. I got a pretty good deal. This was half price because it belonged to a meth cook. Not because it was a meth lab or anything. He was just terrible at negotiation. What a nice asshole. He left me a note. Hello, proprietor of computers for sale. I'm looking 
for an individual named Paradigm. He is hideous. You might know him. While knocking on your door, I accidentally slipped and broke through your door. I then accidentally searched everything inside. My mobile is broken, so I, I will come back to contact you. Sorry about the door. I tried to fix it. Attach this clip art of a cool sun to say sorry. Aqua, Dupa Genetics hen Henchman. That is some pretty sick clip art. It's got sunglasses and everything. It's like it's staring into my soul. You know that it's polite to take someone on a date before you start looking into their soul. People used to live there, and then rats infested the place, then mutated rats took over, and then eventually the rent got too high and they had to leave too. While I eat nothing but coffee and cereal, I occasionally treat myself to Pop Gymno frozen pops. Water flavor, deliciously plain. It's a fine specimen of a traffic cop. I'm so cautious right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you disgusting ball of flesh. I need that cone. <laughs> oh man, how can I stay mad at you? Hmm. Would you like some vodka? I used to have a baby bottle for it. But that proved to be too inconvenient. So I just use his bowl now. Oh. Oh. Gorshki's bowl. He consumes nothing but vodka these days. Occasionally he's on poop if he is feeling fancy. <laughs> Igorshki, lunchtime. He must not be hungry. Oh wait, this vodka is only 40%. I need to make it stronger somehow. This is dangerous. Before doing this, I do not recommend drinking paint thinner, unless of course you have a stomach of horrified you have been warned. Oop. My audio cut out a bit there. Igorski, lunch time. <laughs> oh Jesus, I hope I didn't give him too much. Igorski, are you okay? Look. <laughs> Let's take the cone. Totally not tipsy. Oop. Broke it again. Come back, audio. There it goes. Okay. Alright. Hello, Igorski. <laughs> Alright. I am going to take a quick break here, and then I will be right back.
Okay. And I'm back. Here we go. I could if I wanted to lose some limbs, but I like to... All right. So, I now have... It's probably the nicest cone I've ever seen. Now I have the cone. I'm already using it for insurance fraud. Uh, I... <laughs> I mean... Uh, I have no idea where my friend disappeared to. Uh, this is a new one. Whoops. Is there anything else to click on? The dog is off the leash. <laughs> uh... No, I uh, I took her to I took the dog out to a dog park today to make sure that she was extra extra tired. So she is currently asleep. She is alive, but she is asleep. So it's like being dead. Never take another person's to poker nicer. It basically just locks your account immediately. I heard it from a friend. Oh, here we go. Uh, Mashiek? Mackiet? I don't know. I don't know that name. But they're a sewer dweller. Man, the cartoons really made it seem a lot more glamour glamorous living in the sewers. No, but it's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to these, these names. Uh, let's see here. I've been down here now for three months looking for a rat to teach me martial arts, but all of them are pacifists and talk about politics. What the hell, man? What kind of politics do rats have to worry about? That's fair. Uh-oh. Where'd my internet go? Nope, there it goes. It's been doing that a lot today. All right. Hello? Do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Many artists wish for the sake of vision and hearing. You take way too many very special breath better. It's a part of my curator process. Never doubt my curator process. Any new theories about where we came from? So, we know that you're not a fuck, and so we do a radio of just that. I became a teenage student, busy making fun. Fingers crossed, you're the soul of some sort of intergalactic god alien race. Then we don't have to worry about the uh, rent anymore. But yeah, over the next few guess is as good as mine. Why did it take so long for you to talk to me? I really wish you were more of a wise cracking sidekick. Comic relief from my crippling self-esteem issues. I'm more of a vegetable butter type, but instead of having a large belly, I'm a large puff of flesh. When did you realize you were conscious? Don't really remember. Or did we ever or heard uh, some sort of guy for you? Especially when you were young, all you wanted to do is drink bleach. Stupid baby. When the cleaner is where all the nutrition and vitamins are. <laughs> Truly. See you, Tumor, with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Goodbye. Don't we all wish we had that tumor? All right, let's go back to the cone. That 
That would be a waste of a perfectly good con. I think I could use it to distract him somehow. One must not abuse the power of caution. How can I use it to distract him? One must not abuse the power of caution. One must not Hmm. One must not ab One must not see here. I don't need to divert anyone right now. It could be used with something else though. One must not Probably the nicest coal I've ever seen. One must not abuse the power of caution. Hmm. I'm not a hundred percent certain how to use this cone. I need a hint. Hey, Brosofino, real talk. Mind using your vague intuition to help us out? Sorry, friend. You need to activate my sending minute and image intuition. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Tumor, with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Goodbye. Brosofino. Let me dazzle you with my sending credit to every question. Help. Very tricky with turning me into pretty. Oh, light hearted. You're the more lovely thing to bully, basic things. Put it to a dazzle comedian quick. Otherwise, you know, you might do the other thing and just talk to the guy. Most people would avoid their weaknesses if you show the sort of emotional interest. Probably has something to do with the uh, cult. Maybe you can serve a call to some sort of exception or something to serve. Hmm. Hey. See you, Tumor, with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Goodbye. Hmm. What 
is your weakness? Yeah, not the great art. I'll go around. I'll do you. <laughs> He's a not as funny. I uh, mean, too. So you're saying I would have you consider maybe I'm pretty and it could. What? Letters. Goodbye. Hmm. I have to make the cone fly. Oh, wait. Can I pick up this rocket? I hope he doesn't mind if I take it. <laughs> like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. All right. Everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists, you know? How many have broken down emotionally from hearing that joke so many times at dinner parties? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, rocket cone. It's brilliant. All right. Let us... Oops. I better do it a uh, much further away so he can't violently murder me. At least not in his junkyard. Not in his junkyard. Oh! Aha! I'm connecting the dots. My brain! Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the con has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh. <laughs> this music. <laughs> Well, that worked. All right, finally I can take your head. What the hell? It's not coming off. Detachable my ass. I need to get it off somehow. I have the perfect thing. Finally, my dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. <laughs> a few hours later. Wow, that only took me eight hours to cut through the Krush army spoon. I was estimating at least ten. Take that, Swiss army knife. Now. My very own decapitated police head. Time to bring it to the drug dealer. All right. Uh, hello. Uh, I've got the the head now. C can I uh, can I come in now? Impressive. Stand back a bit, and I'll open the gates. Well, come. Bitch. <laughs> Gee, that's your gate. <laughs> it's a bucket, right? 
Okay. Yeah. Good one. Sir? Sir! I've been waiting here all day. Can you please see to us? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Hang on, I'm doing really secretary stuff. Ting! Ting! <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind, there's Chi. <sighs> Alright, done. What do you need? I have a complaint. Complaint? Oh, wonderful. It's what I live for. Our son, our prodigy child that we bought on the 22nd of January 2016, is faulty. What do you mean, faulty? They aren't budget, no-name electronics that peak, crushing your children's hopes and dreams on Christmas morning. They all say, why doesn't Santa love us, Mummy? Why did he give us broken presents? Should have just bought the official one, but no, you wanted to save a few bucks. He is faulty. All right, calm down, miss. What seems to be the problem? He... he... he wants to become an artist. Jesus Christ, Mom! I'm not an artist. I'm a two-dimensional... <laughs> oh God, you see, <laughs> our family apart. Faulty. All right, all right. We've seen this before. Uh, can you please sign these papers? And if you don't mind, little Johnny, stand on that little circle thing over there. Hey, man. I don't conform to your ideals. Go slay some dragons, you inconsiderate pig. What if I told you that over there, on the circle there, is a gluten-free mocha papito latte? Really? I'm off. <laughs> this has been a fault with the oldest line of prodigy children. Again, I apologize. Just sign the waiver here and we'll get you the replacement. Like most things in Krush, it is out of order. And like most things in Krush, it is probably extremely dangerous. Yes, it stays out of order. Is this space dust? Oh, it's just piles and piles of little papers with dad jokes on them. One says, I am a dad. I am responsible for my children and being witty. This is too much stress and responsibility for me to handle. I'm not sure whoever wrote these understands how jokes work. I have yet to father a child to necessitate taking these. Or have I? D definitely not. Not because I am completely infertile or anything, I am just socially incompetent. Looks like it's been done by an Andy Warhol clone, a literal clone that is. But Shinsuke didn't really have much when it came to culture, so they just cloned celebrities to counteract that. I've seen my fair share of genetically enhanced talking octopodes, but one that is an apathetic retail cashier? It is truly an honor to experience this. Hello? Welcome to Hiroshi's Corner, your friendly local drug dealing vending machine. We get you really high, and please don't die. Unless you have signed the appropriate paperwork. What is super crack? Unlike regular crack, super crack gives you superpowers. What kind of superpowers? After eating super crack, you get super euphoria. Isn't that just like, uh, regular crack? No, not according to our lawyers, anyway. We also own the rights to super super crack. What about super super crack? That's something really special. Gets you high for six months straight. The hallucinations and psychosis from sleep deprivation alone is worth it. If you want it, I need at least three forms of ID, your life insurance number, and a high-res photo of your ankle. Why the last part? I'll be totally honest. I don't need the photo. I just like to see how far I can go before customers notice what I ask for. You'd be surprised. I own at least three human souls. 
I want to ask you something else. How did you get this job? A pretty easy application process of being taken out of the ocean, mutated, then forced into a non-paying retail job. On the upside, I get to wear this hat, I guess. You don't get to do that in the ocean. It just isn't practical. Amazing. Do you get tea breaks? Yes, actually. Frankly, it's the only thing I won't complain about. I freaking love tea. Refreshing like water, but a little more satisfying, you know? Like a treat, but one that doesn't make you feel fat. Of course I don't have breaks. I'm an enslaved, mutated octopus in the vending machine. What is the drug dealer like? Pretty paranoid, dude. He just assumes that the police are after him because of all the movies he watches. When, in fact, space dust is completely legal and actually backed by the Kruish government. Pretty good cash flow. And its addicts are more productive than the alcoholics. That's why governments love it so much. The Eastern European ones, anyway. Where I come from, in the ocean, there was only semen as our government. Dude liked to French kiss fish a lot. I hesitate to call him a leader. I'd like to purchase some drugs, please. Certainly, sir. What drugs were you looking for? Space dust, please. Please take your super fun, cool drug enthusiast tokens and place them in the correct slot on the right. And remember, we get you really high, and please don't die. I don't have any tokens with unnecessarily long names. Ugh. <laughs> Amazing. The awkwardness. All right. Well, just get a super fun, cool drug enthusiast token from the blob of flesh over there, and then you can get some drugs. Now, please, can you leave me to my entitled apathy? I'll come back later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. I'll try to make the best out of eternal slavery. <laughs> Torius L. Not a drug dealer. Day 54 of being a drug dealer. This sucks. I have yet to, cr I have, yet to have a critically acclaimed TV show of my life. <laughs> I have no money, no women, no power. At least I've got this sweet shirt. It's like cotton, but not. I don't even know what it is. The main thing is I'm not a sweaty mess, which I think was a big limiting part on the whole money, women, and power thing. Truly. Не стоит увольняться на полпути. У вас такой большой потенциал. Лучше уволиться аккурат перед выходом на пенсию. Так решитесь, не придется выплачивать вам пособие. Amazing. Are there more of those? Не советуем совать части тела в пространственно временные разломы. Вы можете заработать 7 лет неудач. А к тому же вас вывернет наизнанку. Не выкидывайте окурки. Переработайте их сию же минуту. Окурки – основной ингредиент кришетических государственных прямоугольных протеиновых батончиков. Не советуем совать части тела в пространственно-временные разломы. Вы можете заработать 7 лет неудач. А к тому же вас вывернет наизнанку. I like these life tips. I'm not entirely sure what the point of the smaller one is. Maybe it's to make the large one look even bigger. Kind of like when you shave the hedges. Hey look, it's a mega bro avoid reality system. Never has escapism been so satisfying. Hey, a war pipe. I've always wondered what it's like inside. to know anymore fucking <laughs> <laughs> wahoo at the end sometimes I pretend I'm a predator and hide behind ferns hunting the elusive self-respect Poopsonic X2 I've heard about this model it's huge 
The downside is that it emits radiation causing infertility. I better talk to the drug dealer first before I go around touching his stuff. Something about this is wrong, but uh, I don't think a social movement exists for this yet. Uh. Hello, drug silly man. Hello, insert name here. Refer to their name if you can. It allows you to connect on a more friendly personal level. What? Oh, I'm just trying out some techniques I read in an audiobook. Are you... Riding an old man on rollerblades? Yes. The elderly are great cheap labour. The roller skates are pure efficiency. Is it Miss Kerbler? Remember your own name. Why did you want to become a drug dealer? I really wanted to contribute to my community. To pay for life saving surgery. My father forced me into the profession. All right. I just wanted to be baller for once. All right. You happy now? Look at me. I'm two feet tall, hairy, and fat. Sorry. How do you grow chest hair so thick? It's impressive. I lather my chest with steak and sleep in a lumberjack shirt. Gross. To be honest, I'll give you a hot tip. Merkins double up perfectly as a chest hair replacement. I'm not sure if that is better or worse. There are like five people living here. How did you even fund all of this? Well, I have accrued massive amounts of debt and conducted large-scale tax evasion. It's the main reason I'm so paranoid. I also watched Scarred Face at least 20 times. <laughs> Amazing. What is your name? Torius Lightning Amorous. Re really? My father was an active D&D &D player. <laughs> Amazing. Can I buy some space dust now? I think I've gone through enough. Well, if you have a thousand Krush marks, I can give you the token for the vending machine over there. Oh my word. I don't have the cash for that. Also, token? Super fun, cool, drug enthusiast drug tokens. The official currency for the vending machine. No space dust for you, but tough biddies. Is there uh, anything else I can do? I can bake a mean cupcake that will blow your mind. All right. No one ever buys from me anyway, so I'll play you for it. Yes? If you can beat my game's high score, I'll give you a super fun, cool drug enthusiast drug token. Uh, what game is that? Prepare your body. It's the most brutal, unforgiving game ever developed. An underground classic sought by collectors everywhere. Behold! Damn it, it's not working. Hold on. Goddamn piece of shit ruining my finely crafted atmosphere. I'm never buying floor stock again. Activate cartridge blow. <laughs> what is it about? Try it for yourself. Grab that controller over there. Dude, gross. This controller is all sticky and only leads to one side. I can't play with this. That's what C said. <laughs> Isn't it she said? <laughs> yeah, and my online comedian degree is a scam. Who thought you could get full-fledged degrees in three days and only at the price of full control of my life insurance? Bargain. Next week is a Seamfield masterclass. Anyway... You're stuck with the guest controller. Deal with it. Oh man, I can't deal with this. I'll need another controller. <laughs> man, guest only controllers are such bullshit. Hey, drug dealer, there's your self-respect on the roof. What? 
Let's play this thing. All right, let's do this. Duder and Natasha. Time to bust some thug heads with positive reinforcement. Before they know it, they'll have a mortgage and be in a loveless but financially re stable relationship. sandwich could you imagine Understand now. I want to hail some Satan. Bjorn. to a, sh a street shark. Oh, yes. I boosted the hell out of those thugs. Yeah, you did pretty well. Only 34,123 levels to go. What? Really? I don't have oh my time God. for this. I have actual stuff to do. I don't believe you. Uh, true. Still. Still. No space dust. I'm Elthys. Psst. I think I can help you be boosting thugs. 
Welcome to the stream, Jolly. Legends say that there is a mythical code to beat any Mega Bro game. Like a Konami cult? For legal reasons, no. Well, how can I get it? It's said to be lost. This is paradigm. Time and space. It is a Forever. classic point-and-click adventure game. Yeah, sick. And That's pretty, great, pretty good. Let me finish, Jesus. <laughs> there are whisperings that it can be found lost in electromagnetic waves. Thanks, I think. Uh, can I have a better hint? That's all I can say. Yes, but can I have a slightly superior hint? Hey man, I'm trying to help you out as much as I can. Yeah, but what about a hint? No. Please, miss, can you spare some hint? Jeez, fine. Radio waves. It's stuck in radio waves. Last time I make a cool setup. Mega Bro did a special promotion where they hid their ultimate cheat code within their advertisements. Why are you helping me get free space dust? I just really hate the drug dealer, to be honest. Oh. Let's see here. It's the transcript. I was hoping that most. Z, Z, X, Z is going to be my guess, since I can only use Z and X. Okay, so let's try that. So Z, Z, X, Z. Yeah, I beat the game. <laughs> Take that! I boosted the hell out of those thugs. Oh yes. Man, what the hell? You totally cheated. Some Konami code bullshit. Come on, man. A deal is a deal. Oh god, damn it! Here, my last super drug enthusiast token. By the way, some big guy was looking for you. Super nice. Apparently wanted to dissect you for some reason or another. You're only telling me this now? To be honest, I'm just super stressed about how I'm going to pay the bank back for all those high interest loans for all this gear. Fair enough. Free drugs. I'm living the dream. One space dust, please. Clinically smooth taste. Enjoy your space dust. Finally. Time to get that floppy disk and, uh, and not, you know, die horrible death. Damn, where is he? Oh, no, you better not be dead. Why did you have to pass out now? Wait a second, no. You mean you were sitting on the box of these the whole time? Really? Yeah, it's good to see you still have motor functions, judging by the twitch of your leg. Now let's go save Kurush from inevitable destruction, at least for a little bit longer, so I can make some BTs. If I get back, and it turns out John just wanted me out of the house to hook up with some biddies, I swear to DJ Jesus I will make Internet Explorer the default web browser and wave a magnet over his hard drive. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Doug, no! Oh. Doug, what did it do to you? Paradigm, C come close. 
I have one last bit. No, Doug. Save your energy. We need to get you to a hospital. Berdain, I've always considered you my best friend. I owe you this one less. <laughs> no! Doug, I will avenge you. Shit. Oh man, you asshole. You faked your own death to avoid paying rent? Maybe. That's the last Amazing. time I have a heartfelt moment for you. Supposedly dying, Doug. I am going to leave him there until he lessens. Or until the local bears come foraging for food. They're vegan and would cook up a storm with eggplant. I am not talking to him till he realizes pretending to kill yourself comes with real world consequences. No more daily moisturizing for you, mister. He sure is blocking my way. That constant bopping is making me nervous. Uh, what are you doing? Well, interesting. More specific. Chi, what does the thing say on, on the chest? Are you talking physical or metaphysical? What is a prodigy child? That's uh, pretty rough. Yeah, well, anyway, this one is free. Let's talk about what's needed back for whatever reason. So, then I am. You're a glorified luck. Now, let me do a note and a bit of bombs and to go to my heart. You don't have any teeth. Exactly. Getting some gold plate of jumpers next week. What does he look like? Nothing. Just remembered some fictional character I'd be more upset about dying than most people. Uh, well, if you see the dead for all the time, I'm not at your own. Can you just let me through? Not really. I'm probably you fucked up and who is going to make more. Nothing at all? <laughs> 
whispered sensually, whispered incoherently. Look, a three-headed monkey. What if I, uh, serviced you? I only get it from the money, don't it's, it's a simple. I know how to add up the emotion, don't it? Don't you have any hopes and dreams you want to fulfill? To be honest, the Dumoti and Shun won't never really lie down. I always want them to go back to my water roots and be caught by someone, maybe a celebrity or something. My better ones will probably be Bill Murray of the Adventures of Love. Why don't you? I'm not sure to be honest. I just know that I ever kind of got caught us. What if I told you? Time to put boosting thugs to good use. Oh my god. <laughs> Ready. Boost. Boost. <laughs> boosting ah, thugs. sick. Round two. <laughs> Fight. Hell yeah. You're looking pretty good today. <laughs> this is great. Come on. Just teleport him into the offices. Come on, dude. You know Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki doesn't work well under aggressive management. Did you know, without Paradigm, we can't fix the others. And without fixing the others, Dupagenetics goes into the red. When we go into the red, Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki doesn't get his paycheck. Then... Mr. Yorpodoskovosoki can't pay for his subscription to Kawaii Cats Online! Oh, dude! Don't bring Kawaii Cats into this! <laughs> Not this the Kawaii life. Cats. Regardless, this machine is janky as hell. Bob from accounting is still inside out from the last test. He had a body fellow who loved him very much. Now, not so much. Teleport him into the offices! Why not the dungeon? The other faulty prodigy children are there. I don't want a revolution on my hands. Just do what I say. All right. Jesus, dude. Bad vibes. Are you sure that's how it works? Excuse me. I think I know a little bit more about matter decompilers than you. I'm the scientist here. Oh, yes. So goddamn pumped. Finally time to make some pet beatses, play some epic music. Boah, Davo. Always looking forward to a bird apocalypse. Maybe some mutated mole could replace you. I imagine it would have far more personality. Mold the adventure game. Now that dream is taken away. 
I'm going to ignore that you said that, and let's boot up this bad boy. Yeah, well, what a miser. We're gonna play now, do 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 do. We're gonna play now, do 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 do. We're gonna play now, do 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 do. We're gonna play no connect more door. All right, done. Put in the floppy to continue chasing your unreachable dreams. Ugh. Now that I can do it. I don't really feel like it. Come on, mate. This happens every time. Can't really force inspiration, man. I guess I might as well browse endlessly and discover fetishes I never realized I had. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jesus Christ! I've got great bitty matches. Can't do it. Browse the history of my mama. Man, that was really weird. I think it's over. Nope. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Oh Jesus! Bloody hell! They were just bots. I knew it was too good to be true. I should have caught on when they asked me for my credit card number. What an act title! Welcome to the multiverse. Here, you are one with each of your multidimensional forms. Ugh. Ow. It oh hurts. no. Hey, it's not so bad the second time. Who are you? Is there a manager for this multiverse? Because if there is, I am going to have to speak to him. I, uh, I, I guess I'm technically the manager. Damn it, you messed up my spiel. I'm going to start again. I am the all-seeing keeper of the multiverse. My ultimate purpose is to tell you... Tell me what? Just shut up for a second. You, you are the chosen one. I want the claymation one again. And all of its terrifying beauty. Uh, what? Really? Do I get any powers? I don't need much. Self-esteem would be pretty great if you have any of that left. No! <laughs> What I did to you was what us multiverse keepers call, in the biz, rustling jimmies. <laughs> rustling sometimes jimmies. I just like to mess with people's heads. You aren't the chosen one. You do have a semi-important part, though. The actual chosen one is a way cooler, 25 to 35 year old black haired male with a gruff voice. <laughs> anyway, Final Fantasy is, is calling. Peace! Wait, can I ask you something else before I go? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Do dogs have internal. The true question models? everyone's been waiting for. The answer is. Yes? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Man, I love this job. That shit never gets old. Damn it. I was this close to knowing the answer to life's greatest question. Welcome to my dungeon. You are now my prisoner for eternity, forever tormented by the thing that once gave you refreshment, now only providing you with never-ending pain! Ugh, deja vu. Oh well then, almighty tormentor. Speaking of refreshing beverages, my throat is quite parched, as I presumably was split into a million pieces and transported through time and space. Can I trouble you for I one? could probably be working Silence! harder. My refreshing days are over. Bow down! 
to the eternal sound of the forever restarting oh, refrigerator no. motor. May it be a reminder of your sins. <laughs> Never have I heard such a horrifying sound. Yeah, just wait till you're just about to fall asleep. Oh, God. This bad boy kicks in. You're gonna be so irritated. I will be sure to heed that warning, water cooler of doom. I'm glad you're starting to show some respect. If you're lucky, I'll let you lick my nipple nozzles. Ew, gross. You really have to call them that? Well, if you can think of a better name for them, I'm all ears. Tips? Ugh. Hell, the sick man paradigm. Sick. <laughs> I got to get out of this office prison room thing. All right. All right. We are going to save there because that is a good stopping point. This is a very fun game. I like this game. It's very silly. It's fun times. I appreciate it. Thank you all for coming to my TED Talk Twitch stream. It was also fun times. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.